Monday Night Raw gets a historic Raw rating of the lowest rating in history. Was WWE SmackDown viewership able to top Raw's historic low? Well, viewers and subscribers, we're going to give you the news and the rumors, then the headlines. Share and subscribe. Hulk Hogan is confirmed to return to the WWE. Also, an NWO teaser. And viewers and subscribers, what about WWE taking away that fan's Roman sucks sign? I remember at a time when WWE had a sea of signs. That's all you got in the Attitude Era was signs. You had to yell at the person in front of you because there was too many signs. But ladies and gentlemen, let's see if it's a sign of the times if SmackDown was able to beat Raw's historic low viewership rating. This week's SmackDown featuring a main event segment with Samoa Joe and WWE Champion AJ Styles drew 2.193 million viewers. This is down, oh boy, I can read negative, 3.9% from last week's 2.281 million viewers. SmackDown was number 9 in viewership for the night on cable. Hannity topped the night on cable in viewership with 3.406 million viewers. The big draw on network TV uh, was NCIS on CBS, which drew 12.558 million viewers. Oh, I get like 500 views with 100,000 subscribers, so that's great. In comparison, Monday's Raw drew 2.350 million viewers, down from last week's 2.672 million viewers for the post Hell in a Cell episode and the lowest Raw viewership in history. Raw viewership topped SmackDown by 7.2%, and that's with its lowest rating in history. Well, I guess that just shows you that it's the committed hardcore fans that are tuning in to see Samoa Joe and AJ Styles. And SmackDown was a solid show. SmackDown was a lot better than Monday Night Raw. But then again, Monday Night Raw wasn't so bad. It was subpar. It was okay. It was kind of worth a watch here and there, I guess. Smack. I mean, our truth is great on the mic. Our truth is so entertaining. He's so compelling. He's so in, you know he's he's good. He's 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 in tune to it. But the SmackDown viewership still not able to beat Raw's historic low. What is becoming a SmackDown? I have time to bring back Shane McMahon and shuffle up the deck once again. Time to throw a swerve in there. Maybe a Vince Russo swerve. I don't know. But viewers and subscribers, I give you the curve here on Show and View. Demon. Buy my official merchandise line on Amazon. Amazon.com. Sean's View Entertainment is here to give you all the news and the rumors and the headlines, the hearsay, the gossip, the whatever it is in, uh, in WWE, because this is the premier destination. I am the face that books this place. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on SmackDown still not being able to get one over Monday Night Raw? If they can't beat Raw's historic low rating, then what the hell are they going to do and when are they ever going to beat it? Well... Maybe once SmackDown becomes the number one show and the flagship show, when it moves to Fox, maybe then they'll start beating Monday Night Raw because I guess WWE is going to stop putting more time to SmackDown than Monday Night Raw. Share and subscribe. Stay tuned.